Hello everyone, my name is Ethan and uh, this is my first ever build video for YouTube, uh, as far as woodworking goes at least, and um, what, we'll, what we'll be building today is a stool, a very short little stool for tying your shoes or for children or for reaching that thing that's just out of reach. Um, it features compound angled legs, so you can see how they're angled in two directions, and uh, some cool uh, half-lap joints there for the crossbars and tenons going up into the seat top. So um, I hope you enjoy. If you have any helpful comments or criticism, let me know in the comments down below. So here's the plan. As you can see, I hope you can see that's a stool right there. And uh, it's going to be about 12 inches tall. And I think the joints here and there are going to be half lap joints that go, sort of angled half lap joints that go into the uh, legs. So that's what I'm starting with. So I'm going to be using this old, no it's not that old, it's a uh, pine that was dried outside, you can see it looks kind of rough, that was sawn from my uncle, and he gave me a bunch of it, uh, so just some nice light material that should be strong enough for a stool. One thing I forgot to mention in the intro is that this is all made using old fashioned joinery and wood glue, there's no hardware, no nails or screws. I wanted the legs to angle out at 5 degrees, so here I am setting the bevel gauge. And here I am eventually using the bevel gauge to mark the shoulder lines of the compound angled tenons. They met up pretty well. So I drew some helpers for myself to figure out which way this crazy, uh, doubly angled tenon is going. So, as I look at it right now, it seems strange, but I think it's right. Here I'm cutting the tenons into the top of the legs. Since these are compound angled tenons, the cut needs to be made with two angles. So the blade is angled at five degrees, and the leg itself is angled toward me, or toward the camera, depending on what the cut calls for. Okay, so now I have myself a little teepee, as you can see. One important detail is that the angle of the tenons is going to be perpendicular to the seat, not to the legs. So that's why these angled tenons can be a lot easier uh, when it comes to mortising, but it's a little tricky to get them cut correctly, as you can tell. So you can see my scribe line is that's my knife mark. That is the final line that I want the shoulders of this tenon to be at. So I cut just off of that with a table saw because it's just not quite as accurate uh, the way that I cut them on the table saw. So I finish them with chisels. And that's what I'm going to do right now. I 
and there you have it down right to the shoulder line so I made myself a little jig here this kind of shows the distance between the two legs on one side and their angle and the top of this bigger block here it's all just kind of hot glued on there will be where the crossbar comes in So here you can see a mistake that I ran into while working on these half lap joints. Uh, this area between the two half laps became so thin and it's a very uh, weak way for the grain to be running that I snapped off these corner pieces on three of the four, three of the four legs. This is the one that got it right and that's how it's supposed to look which is uh, it, I could easily snap that off with my fingers. Cold glue. There we have it. Here I'm centering the legs on the bottom of the seat and I'm going to draw around each of the tenons so I know where to make the mortises and uh, draw a center mark so I can drill right in the middle. Here I'm just using my little hand plane to make a slight chamfer just to ease the sanding process. Alright, so what I'm going to do here to the seat is make a chamfer all the way around. 
First, what I need to do is mark how deep I want my chamfer to be in. Uh, so I think I'm going to do a quarter inch all the way around, and I'll use a, a marking edge for that. I'm going to use a technique I saw from Paul Sellers. Uh, if you want to learn about how to do it, check out his YouTube channel. It's pretty basic, really. Okay, let's see how this works out. Hmm. Okay, for finish I'm using cherry danish oil. I have a plan to make that my shop theme stain. We'll see how that goes. So I hope you enjoyed that video of me making the stool. It was enjoyable and a pretty fun experience. It took a while, it being my first time uh, to edit and get all the video together, but uh, but I think it turned out all right. So anyway, until next time, see ya.